is Kathy, and today I'll be teaching the beautiful shaker song called Simple Gifts, arranged for the harp by Sylvia Woods. But before I do, I wanted to tell you that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Simple Gifts is a shaker song, written and composed in 1848 by Elder Joseph Brackett. The tune was written by Joseph Brackett in 1848. Brackett, a lifelong resident of Maine, first joined the Shakers at Gorham, Maine, when his father, father's farm helped form the nucleus of a new Shaker commit settlement. The song was largely unknown outside of Shaker communities until Aaron Copeland used its melody for the score of Martha Graham's ballet, Appalachian Spring. Shaker was once worshipped at Holy Mount in the Appalachians. It was first performed in 1944. Copeland used Simple Gifts a second time in 1950 in his first set of Old American Songs for Voice and Piano, which was later orchestrated. Many people thought that the tune of Simple Gifts was a traditional Celtic one, but both the music and original lyrics are actually the compositions of Brackett. Simple Gifts has been adapted or arranged many times since by folk singers and composers. Simple Gifts was written by Elder Joseph while he was at the Shaker community in Alfred, Maine. These are the lyrics to his one-verse song. Tis the gift to be simple. Tis the gift to be free. Tis the gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, twill be in the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend we shall chant be ashamed. To turn, turn will be our delight, till by turning, turning we come round right. Several Shaker manuscripts indicate that this is a dancing song or a quick dance. Turning is a common theme in Christian theology, but the reference to turning in the last two lines have also been identified as dance instructions. When the traditional dance is performed properly, each dancer ends up where he or she began come round right. The song quite closely resembles several repetitions of the opening measures of William Byrd's Renaissance composition, The Barley Break, which Byrd intended to imitate country children playing a folk game. Similarly, Brackett is claimed to have come up with the song as an imitation of what folk music sounds like. When learning this piece of music, clap and count out the right hand and the left hand, then learn it hands separately and then put it hands together. Simple Gifts is written in the key of G major, so remember to engage all the F sharping levers before you begin. Now, all music tells a story, and I'm not talking about the words of the song, rather I'm speaking about the music itself. In Simple Gifts, the melody is in the right hand and the accompaniment is in the left hand, so make sure that the right hand melody is louder overall than the left hand. Now, in all music, there's a beginning, an ending, and a climax point, and we'll discuss each of these elements now. In music, it's a general rule of thumb that when the notes of the melody, in this case the right hand notes, rise in pitch from lower notes to higher notes that the volume will increase. And when the melody notes fall in pitch, the volume will decrease. In general, the left hand of most songs will be the spot where the beat of the song manifests most strongly. In general, the first note of each bar of music in the left hand is slightly emphasized to give a good strong beat. And the lower notes are also emphasized slightly. And what this does is it causes the playing of the piece of music to have greater depth and contrast. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. In Simple, simple Gifts, there are a number of broken three note chords in the left hand and I wanted to show you how those fit in. The first one happens at the very beginning of the piece of music and the bottom note of that chord fits in with the right hand so it goes again and a little faster 
and that's how all of them work in the left hand. Now there is a 16th note section um, on the third page, the very last bar of music, and I just wanted to demonstrate how that works. You have a broken three note chord in the right hand to start the second, well, the third bar, the third and fourth bar on that page. And uh, the broken three note chord in the right hand goes, the top note of the chord fits in with the left hand, so it's. There's that 16th note passage done slow. I'll do it again. And that's how that section works. And this is Simple Gifts. great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care! <music>